we're going to go through the ratio test for determining whether or not an infinite series converges or diverges. Before we progress, always remember if we've been given a sequence, before we try anything too clever to work out whether or not the sequence gives an infinite series which converges or diverges, have a look at the terms and establish whether or not the terms tend to zero in size. If they don't tend to zero, there's no chance of the infinite series to converge. So let's assume we've got an infinite series and the terms tend to zero. Let's turn to the ratio test. So the ratio test says the following. For a sequence, AK, none of the terms are zero. This isn't too much of a trouble. We can always reject the zero terms. They won't damage our sum. And we have the following condition. If the limit as K goes to infinity of the ratio of one term to the next term tends to L, which is real number, in particular this limit exists, then the conclusions of the theorem are as follows. If the L is greater than 1, then the, the infinite series diverges. If L is less than 1, it converges. And if L is equal to 1, well actually this test tells us nothing. We're none the wiser. So let's translate this test now into English. So here's a moral. If for, for each large K, what we need to be true is that the modulus of the k plus first term is approximately some fraction, let's call it L, and hope it's less than 1, of the previous term, the modulus of AK, then what's going to be true? So we've got AK plus 1, the modulus of AK plus 1 is approximately some fraction of the AK, and what's going to happen is that the terms the AK will tend to zero fast enough to guarantee that this infinite sum converges. Why is that going to happen? For the same reason that the infinite sum of L to the K converges as a geometric series. That's the idea of the proof and the theorem. So let's do that now for an example. Here's an example. We're trying to sum K factorial, 4 to the K, over 2K, all factorial. So what do the terms look like? In general, AK is just K factorial times 4 to the K over 2K factorial. And we go straight ahead and we work out the modulus of A to the K plus 1 over A to the K. Doesn't look very nice, but let's, let's have a go. K plus 1 factorial 4 to the k plus 1, 2 to the k plus 2, factorial, modulus. This gives us the ak plus 1 term. The ak term, I'll turn it upside down. 2k factorial over k factorial, 4 to the k. Now we need to simplify this. Well, the k factorial and k plus 1 factorial cancel almost, and these two terms here almost cancel, and these two terms almost cancel. Where we're left with 4 times k plus 1 over 2 to the k plus 1, 2 to the k plus 2. So, what we've seen is the modulus of AK plus 1 over AK is equal to 4 into K plus 1 over 2K plus 2 times 2K plus 1. Some of you may notice this is just twice this. So we're actually looking at 2 over 2k plus 1. And we're interested in the limit of this fraction as k tends to infinity. And this tends to 0 as k tends to infinity. This is going to be our L. So the limit as k tends to infinity of a k plus 1 
over AK is equal to naught. And by the ratio test, this infinite sum of the AKs will converge. Because L0 was less than 1. So let's do a second example, slightly more complicated. Here we have an infinite series. What does the general term AK look like? It's just 5 to the K over 3 to the K times 2 to the K plus 1. We just write down the modulus of a to the k plus one, ak plus 1 over ak and try and establish its limit as k tends to infinity. Let's do that. We have to put k plus 1 in here. 5 to the k plus 1, 3 to the k plus 1, 2 to the k plus 1 plus 1, divided by ak, same as multiplying by 3 to the k times 2 to the k plus 1 all over 5 to the k. And luckily for us, lots of these terms cancel. We end up with 5 times 2 to the k plus 1 on the top. On the bottom, 3 multiplied by 2 to the k plus 1, plus 1 on the bottom. If we expand that slightly, we've got 5 times 2 to the k plus 5. Over here, let's take one of the 2's out, and we have 6 times 2 to the k plus 3. So we're up to, up to here. You may see that as k tends to infinity, this is going to tend to 5, 6. One easy way to see that, see that would be to multiply the top and bottom by 2 to the minus k. So 5 plus 5 times 2 to the minus k, 6 plus 3 times 2 to the minus k. And this tends to 5, 6 as k tends to infinity. So as k tends to infinity, this ratio tends to 5 sixths, which importantly is less than 1. So we can apply the ratio test to the limiting ratio here and deduce that our sequence of AKs as K from 1 to infinity converged. Again, it's worth noting we've never actually found the limit of any of these sequences so far. We've purely just shown they converge. So before we end, we'll just try and answer the question of why did we use the ratio test? How could we know to use the ratio test in this case rather than the comparison test, for example? So for our example here, one of the key things we may have spotted was that when we look at the ratio of one term to the next term, lots of the terms cancel. In particular, if I was to take ak plus 1, to get to the next term, or to get to ak plus 1 from ak, we roughly multiply by k, multiply by 4, and divide by 2k twice. So ak plus 1 is roughly 4k over 2k squared, lots of ak. But that's about 1 over k, which gets very small as k tends to infinity. In particular, that's why l equals naught is the value. In our second example, again we spotted that if we were to look at ak plus 1 over ak, lots of the powers cancelled. And the top was about 5 to the k, and the bottom is about 6 to the k plus 3 to the k, but that's quite small compared to 6 to the k. So the top is about 5 to the k, the bottom is about 6 to the k. And then we looked at this fraction, and we hoped that the limit was not 1. We may have noticed in advance it was going to be 5 sixths. So there we've seen the ratio test in action. We stated the ratio test, we saw why it works, and then we tried two examples, and then motivated why we chose the ratio test in those examples. Hopefully that will give you ways to think about using the ratio test for other examples.